SCA. We are currently walking to Raiders and Treasures and we're gonna do our first ride and we got some stars. So it's sunny, it's a beautiful day. Let's go. We're jugging. <laughs> They just rebooted. We walked on it. We were literally like the first people in the line. It was so fun, but our arms got a little tired. But we are now doing credit coaster, which is my favorite here. So, experience. Okay, we rode in credit coaster. It was so fun. Laura loved it, and luckily her anemia did not kick her out. So, she didn't faint. But we are now in line for Inside Out Emotional Whirlwind. But we just ate at Lamplight Lounge. We had brunch. I had this like chorizo potato something. They were amazing. It was so yummy. And Laura got a brunch burger. We had brunch there. So now I'm going to ride Guardians, uh, not Cosmic Crew That's World of uh, Mission Breakout. It is like one of my favorite rides here. It's so fun. But Laura can't ride it because of her anemia. So she's just hanging out in Avengers Campus. And I'll check with you in a minute. Oh 
Did I start this literally in the middle of the day? It's currently 2.28 and it's the sunniest part of the day and the busiest. So that's why I'm standing up against this wall by our bathroom just to catch you up on what's been going on. So basically last night I had dinner with Guardians. It was so much fun. I absolutely love that ride so much. It's just such a thrill. After Guardians, I met up with Laura and we went and did Monsters Inc. which was super cute. We had like a 20 inch family for that, so not bad. Then we went and did Kill Her Magic right next to it, which was a 10-ish minute wait. And then our, our light mailing for Soren started. So we did that. We have been shopping basically since then. And we are now back at Pixar Pier to just shop around and kill some time before we do our uh, light mailing for Toy Story Mania. We got chocolate covered bananas. So that is yummy and fun. So I will check back with you soon. Hey friends, so I'm here to close out this video and show you the little bit of merch that I did pick up from this DCA trip as well as to close out the video and kind of tell you how the night ended. So I can't remember where filming kind of stopped, but towards the end of the night, we stood in line to ride the Ferris wheel. I always kind of forget what it's called there, but we stood in line to ride the Ferris wheel for a while and it just really wasn't moving. I think we were doing the non-swinging cart, so if you're familiar, there are swinging ones and then stationary ones that just like generally go around. The swinging ones have a track and they really like swing while they move around. And I'm all for fun daring rides, but these just both times I've been to DCA kind of throw me off. Like they seem pretty unstable and I'm sure they are, but it's just a little too much. So we wanted to do the stationary ones. And after waiting in line for quite a while and not really moving, it said it was a 25 minute wait when we hopped in line, but it was most definitely going to be upwards of an hour. We even talked to a cast member that walked by. And so we were kind of like, not worth that. I'm trying to remember what the other reason was. Oh, they announced like towards that 30 minute point when we had barely moved and we were questioning it, that they would be grouping parties of four or less with other parties of four or less to help with time. And we only had two of us, so we knew we would be with another party. And kind of the whole point of getting on this ride was to take some pics in the cart. And we were like, we're not going to be able to take pictures. Like, we're not going to be able to move from like side to side, get angles of each other. And that was like a huge part of it. And so we were just like, we're not going to do that. And this is going to take a while. We were out. So we wasted a little bit of time doing that, but that was part of it. If, I, if my memory recalls correctly, um, as soon as we kind of got out of that line, we went and did our pictures in front of the wheel over on kind of like the boardwalk in front. And I know some of those got included. So we took those, which was so interesting because we were taking them of each other. And then we were self-timering the ones together, which they turned out so cute. And I'm so like happy with how they turned out. But we did that. And then we literally went from there to um, try and figure out a solution to charging our phones because our phones were basically dead and the portable charger that I have that is wireless that like magnetically sticks to the back of my phone 
it was also pretty much dead. So we had a wall plug, like regular type charger. But the thing is in DCA, there are really not many like charging stations slash places to charge. So we had this idea, we were like, let's go inside Flo's diner in like a cafe and see if we can find one. Cause there's gotta be one in there. We literally found one outlet. They had covered up most of the outlets and we kind of think it's because they don't want people sitting at the tables all day because then they won't be able to have as many customers. So they covered, they've covered up outlets so that people can't charge up. But we did find one and we scooted a table over to it and we sat there for about 45 minutes. Enough for at least one of us to get enough juice on their phone because we were driving back to Ventura that night and we needed the phone to GPS us. So we like not only had to make it through park closed, but also to GPS us back to the hotel in Ventura. So charged up in there, we split a kid's meal just to kind of like push us over. And then the next thing that we did was something we'd actually kind of been working on all day. And that was getting into the earlier um, world of color dessert party. So Laura and Matt and their family, they so kindly gifted me the world of color dessert party for my birthday. My birthday was two days after we went to DCA or maybe it was three days. Actually, I think it was three days after. Those days all kind of ran together. And for my birthday gift, they gifted me that for Laura and I to do. We were able to watch World of Color, have a drink, desserts. Um, it was like a mix of charcuterie and true desserts, but we had great viewing and a place to sit and watch it. If you are familiar with nighttime shows like Fantasmic at World, where you're in a round, it's like amphitheater style with all these bleacher seating. They don't have anything like that at Land. Fantasmic is all standing room and Disneyland, and then World of Color is mainly standing room at DCA. And Luke and I did that last year and it was fine, but we did have to get there really early and just sit on the pavement to kind of hold us a spot. And then there's like a huge crowd all at the same level. So anyways, we got elevated seating and we had a chair and a table and it was just really nice to be able to sit. The party, the dessert party and World of Color time was about an hour total that we got to sit. So that was really, really nice after being on your feet all day. Well, when they booked it, there was no time slots like do you want this party or this party it just showed like as one thing and then it told them a few days before our dca day that we had the late showing and it was going to be like substantially later we were both had done everything we wanted to do so we really wanted to go to the early one and because we we're driving back to ventura we just really want to go to the early one so all day at different points in the day if we saw like an important looking cast member we would kind of ask them like hey, this is a situation we're in. Is there any chance you think we can get in the earlier one? And we kept getting pointed around all these different things. So basically we gathered the, the best thing to do was gonna be to talk to the people at check-in for the dessert party, like when it was time for that first dessert party to go. And that's basically what we did. We our fingers crossed and they let us in. And so we were thrilled. This picture that I'm about to pop in was actually the moment that we had gotten it approved and they put us in line to be seated with the first dessert party. And we sent this to Matt, Laura's husband, because we were like, we did it. We all were rooting for us to get into that earlier one. And that was like the icing on the cake that day because after that we left and that was kind of the end of the day. And it was nice because we didn't have to just like kill time for an additional like hour and a half to two hours. There was a huge time gap between the two. So that was basically our day. We literally had the perfect day. I made a TikTok, so go check that out on TikTok, please, of the recap of the day. And I put it to the song Perfect Day from Legally Blonde because it just like DCA theming and like everything gives me that time period of early Y2K when that song was kind of like, really popular, but it really was the perfect day. We did Lightning Lanes with Genie Plus and totally paid off. I think it is really worth it. It works really well in land and it was not the highest of crowd day anyway. So we booked Lightning Lanes up like this. We literally rode everything we wanted to ride. There was not a single thing. I think the only thing that we like would have wanted to ride that we didn't was the Ferris wheel because for some reason the wait times for that were really high all day, but that was it. Like we rode everything we wanted to ride, every thrill ride. And we still had time to take a ton of pictures, which was like high up on our list. We're both total picture girlies. 
And since it was just the two of us, we were like, we're milking this for all it's worth because our husbands are not into that kind of stuff. And Laura has two young kids, which kids get tired of that really quick. So we did tons of pictures with each other and of each other. And we ate a lot of good food. We kind of participated in like food and wine festival a little bit because that was going on. So all in all, it was the total perfect day. We had the best weather. It never rained. It was sunny all day, but we weren't hot. I mean, it was just perfect. We've already said that next year if we go to this, well, I'm sure Laura will because she will be highly requested back at this conference. But if I go with her, we definitely want to do Disney again. I bet we will do Disneyland since we did DCA this year. Um, but we want to do it at the end of the conference because we did have to drive to Ventura that night and it was hard to get back in conference mode for like a half day on Sunday kind of thing. So it would be lovely to just be able to go to Anaheim, not stress, wake up the next morning, go to LAX and fly to LAX and cut down on your drive time and stuff. And then it's like a treat after you've done the conference. But all in all, it really was worth a day. So I'm going to show you now the few things that I did pick up. So we did go to Downtown Disney on Friday night. We went to Downtown Disney for about an hour and a half and we shopped around and I did pick up, I went in there like World of Disney as I think what it's called there, but I did go in there and pick up my things so that I didn't have to lug anything around in DCA and I'm really glad I did that. I did not get much. I wish I had gotten an ornament for the 100 year celebration and that's maybe all I wish I'd gotten. I maybe will pick up a picture book and order it online. I kind of like debate it all day, but I have to say I probably didn't end up getting it because of not knowing how many pictures we'd come away with. When I've gotten picture books for like small trips before, it's not a waste of money, but it is kind of like you don't fill a lot of the pages. So I think I just decided to wait and then I'd order it online if I wanted to get one and I need to go through and see how many pictures I've got but I probably will end up ordering an ornament and a picture book. We would not have needed an autograph book. We met Jesse and Donald Duck so we only met two characters there. So I'm glad I didn't get an autograph book for this trip and if you want to know more about that go watch my Disneyland playlist from last year because I think I talk more in depth about the way I feel about character interactions at Disneyland Resort versus Walt Disney World. Everything else I basically got. I got some pins, so that's a win. And then I saw this sweatshirt as soon as we walked in. It is very similar to the sweatshirt that I got last year from Disneyland. It's a lot of the same design, but I absolutely love it. I This is like my favorite color blue, this like pastel baby blue color. And it has a very vintage uh, Mickey on there and it says Disneyland under it, which I love because I wanted it to say Disneyland and not just be as generic. So I got this and I think I got it a little big. I got it in a size large, pretty sure. Yes. So I'm really excited to wear this. And then I picked up three pins, I believe. And let me tell you, the pen prices are so much more expensive there. I know I got some pins last year and I need to check and see how much they're running, but I think there's just been general price increase in pins in the year since I've been in Disneyland. Um, but these pins were so expensive. I was kind of blown away and I was glad I wasn't there longer than I was because there were plenty of pins I did see and just didn't buy and it's probably a good thing. So the first thing I got is this generic 2023 Disneyland pin. This is like the style they're kind of doing all their stuff in right now. It's like very vintage retro and it's this color block of like blue, orange, yellow, and green. And so I got that. I do like to get just a very generic pin for the park and that has the year on it. I got this one for the Disney 100. They had lots of characters in it, but I just got a lot of the Disney World 50th anniversary stuff, so I didn't need to blow the bank on Disney 100. But this is a very neat, like it's matte and I don't know if you can see the writing on it. Um, it's kind of dark. That's gonna be probably the best way to see it in there, but it's matte and it's silver. Silver and purple are the colors for Disney 100. And it has just an outline of the castle and it does say Disneyland in there, but I got this one. And then this was really cool. I think this was the most expensive one. Yeah, this is a $30 pin. It has six pin posts, which is insane to me, but it's pretty heavy duty and it's really pretty. It has classic 
Mickey and Minnie in their classic outfits, the red and black, um, and it has Sleeping Beauty's castle in the background, and it looks like they're just looking at it through like a window. I think this is a really, really pretty, elegant pin, and I saw it and just felt like I had to have it because it actually is Disney 100, but it's just very like nostalgic Mickey and Minnie in the classic outfits with the original castle. I just love that. Because that's gonna be all I have for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed our day at DCA and the few little things that I picked up. Stay tuned for more Disney content as I believe next week I will be having a really, really fun video coming up. So without further ado, I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Thank you.